Software Spring Presence How to use dProduct in Google Sheets Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use dProduct in Google Sheets. Here is an intro to the dProduct function. The D in dProduct stands for database. Use dProduct to get the product of values in a column in a database based on one or more criterion. Here is a database with data on an entrance exam score, fee data, and value. For example, we can get the total fee received from students with a score of 500. All right, let's look at the format of dProduct. This is the database. This is the field, which contains the values to get their product. This is the criteria range. The headers of the criteria range should be the same as of the database range. Okay, here is an objective for using D product. To get the total fee received from students with a score of 500. First, I will type the criterion. In this cell, I will type 500. Okay, I want the content of this cell to be the same as this cell. The reason is, if I change this criterion, this cell should get automatically updated. So, I will type equal to E2, and press enter. Moving on, I will type the dProduct function in this cell. Type D, P. Select dProduct from the menu. To specify the database, click this cell and, drag the cursor till this cell, and release. Type comma. Specify this as the field. Type comma. To specify the criteria range, click this cell. Drag the cursor till this cell, and release. Press enter. Alright, here is the total fee received. Say, you wanted to find out the total fee received from students, with a score in the range 450 to 499. All you need to do, is to type the new criterion in this cell. Press enter. There you go. The D product function has returned the total fee received. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.